Good morrow tribe. Good morning, Dharma. What's good, y'all? It's Dharma here to do a daily for you. This is going to be energy for like the next 24 to 36. Oh, no. That's, can you hear that? They're so kind to mulch my leaves for me. Shut this. Stand by. Oh, my God, I'm going to knock the whole table down. Okay. Hopefully that's better. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So for those of you who are new, welcome. This is the daily tribe time where we all get together. We chat. We laugh. We cry. We call. We do all the things. You don't have to ask me if you can be part of the tribe. If you are a soul seeking answers and or wisdom, then you are already part of the tribe. It's just you have fun now found like minded folks. Had the best birthday. Look at what fucking Gandalf gave me. I swear to God, it's a Golden Girls Cup and it says squad. <laughs> I'm lucky. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is for all signs inclusive. All right. And it is for the next 24 to 36 hours from whenever you watch this, not from when it was uploaded. If you're watching this as replay, I recommend you watch it with the comments, but it does take like a minute. Like a, like when I say like a minute, I mean like two hours after we go live before it will show the live chat replay. So you may have to come back for that part, but it's 1230 or something like that right now on Monday, New York time. I'm still feeling this deck. I was so, I love it when a deck jumps out at me like that. And especially since it's got ravens in it too. It's the dark fairy tale tarot. So guides, angels, anyone from the highest good to, oh shit, the crow's nest page. No, I went back to bed. I don't know what my freaking problem is. With this whole, okay, I'll do that today. As soon as I get off here, I will do that. It's going to be a Crow's Nest Facebook page. <laughs> so if you're watching this after, as a replay later on, um, there's probably going to be a link below in the description box that will have our Facebook group. This way, because every people be sending me funny Raven shit all the time. And that's the kind of place that you can put it. And I'm going to need some volunteers for mods over there. Got to keep it, you know, what was the, what's the rule that we came up with? Do whatever you want. Don't hurt anybody and don't be an ass hat. That's the rule. <laughs> but that way we can, you can go, you know what I mean? We can all, that's where we can really start talking to each other because we can come up with your own discussions and shit. Yeah, just don't be an ass hat. That's the rule. Okay. Now. Was there anything else I was supposed to say? <laughs> I forget. Instagram is Dharma Jane Daddy. Michael coming in for a gatekeeper. Yeah, they're not the worst rules in the world. Do whatever you want. Don't be an asshat. <laughs> we don't like that shit. Did you ever pissed off a whole room full of ravens? <laughs> we make you walk the plank. And then you can come back. All right. Here we go for the day. 24 to 36 hours, please. Woo, woo, woo. All right. I just want to be like, no reversals. <laughs> okay. All right. No reversals. The star and the ace of cups. The fuck? Oh my God, I am she, well, I love this deck, Rude Awakening, did start well because yesterday, <laughs> all of a sudden I'm bashful, really, did she got a good, she, 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 <laughs> I can't talk, calm down, this one here has a nice rack, I'm just saying. 
I also heard bleed for me. Now, there's this other indication with this fucking deck that there's vampires afoot. Okay? Yeah, I'm blushing because I don't know where it's coming from, but it's the star. And yesterday it was about the hope. And she'd be all like this, you know? So that I want to talk about being showered in lava. <laughs> but like dirty, dirty, dirty lava. That kind. <laughs> because she, she's got on, she's, she's, she. <laughs> She got some slinky clothes. She's a dirty bird. That's us at our finest. Whatever. But there's skulls here. Rebirthing. What's a skull? Life and death. And the star. <clears throat> Six of Cups. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this. Freaking out, man. Look at her looking. Please. Reaching up to the sky. They're like, neener, neener, pumpkin eater. We took this other cup and she's like, fucking give it back. Give it back. Give it back. <laughs> That's my cup. Give it back. And then this would be, I don't know, some character who would be in charge of saying give it back. I mean, that's technically the King of Pentacles, but he looks like he's being like, all right. That even looks like a wave, like, hey, like, fucking nice to see you. Maybe that's the cup. He's like, oh, shit, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, the Empress. This is that she means it. Give it back. Mmm. Oracle. Yeah, what up, Crow Man? She's a hot balls. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's you. It's the Empress. The Epiphany took eight months. Well, he's sitting there like, what's up? Hey. I didn't mean you. I didn't realize you meant it so hard. Oh, the communication in the grasshopper. They went bloop. They came out together. It's a text. It's 2.30. 1, 2, 30. It's like I get off around 5. But there's fucking... That's why he's like, okay, let's, and then, the, so this particular king is the grasshopper. Okay, fuck it, let's do it. Sure. Why not? This is the, this, the, <laughs> the stallion. It's a very, there is tension here. Lots of it. And confusion and the devil. There's your emperor. Aquarius. Light bulb, Celtic knot, the fucking rider. Hold on, I need to reground because I just went off into the clouds. Is somebody buffering? Hello, hi Maslow. 
There's tension, I know. <clears throat> now we do have the King of Earth twice, but we also have fucking lust. Okay, now we have the Emperor and the Empress. I don't know where I want to go with this because I... First of all, I'm like a bowl full of fucking jelly. She be all coy like that. That's how I feel. I can't help it. it I kind of want it to go away, but I kind of don't. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I want to talk about this. Why is she like, give it back? Like, where did the fuck did it go? <laughs> let's do the, let's do the crows. I have too many decks to choose from now. Could have worse problems. The Fool. But that one was in reverse. Missed opportunity. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Seven of Pentacles. Fucking worth the wait? Why was it a missed opportunity? Like, what happened? Ace of Wands. <laughs> that doesn't seem like a missed opportunity to me. Okay. Five of Pentacles and the Emperor. I think this Emperor thought that this Empress was... Who empressy didn't need him, didn't Queen of Swords, she fucking bad bitch, right? But is she may have been so Queen of Swords, like let me remind you that I don't need you. They're like, okay. And she's like, but fucking wait a minute. <laughs> Where are you going? He's all, well, to the Hierophant. Because I want that. I want the Hierophant. But she's like, I want the fucking Hierophant. Right? Emperor and Empress. And they're like, what? Since when? She's like, since fucking always. But I don't need you. We don't. Is it weird? Are we weird? That we want to be in a relationship over there? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, we're in a relationship. Yeah, but I got shit to do. Don't you have shit to do? Are we not in a relationship because we got shit to do? Right. Is it, I mean, do you have to, like, on somebody to, like, be in a relationship with them? Or can you just know that when they're done doing their shit, they're probably going to snug up with you? I like to snuggle. Other than that, go do whatever the fuck you want, honestly. Right. Yeah, that's the thing, Pixie, because men are used to being chased. And we're just like, what up? I'm here. Or not. Hmm. Okay, so let's talk about this because we obviously, okay, there's a couple of things happening here. First off, we have this devil energy, the clouds, the emperor, and the fucking five of pentacles. What is this? That was the part where they thought you were too. The Emperor. And 
and the sun. I heard fetch my horse. They're ready to fucking Ten of Pentacles. Fetch my horse. For what purpose? Two Ten of Pentacles. But this is Ten of Pentacles for 24 hours, okay? That's how long this energy is supposed to last. It could be the same, you know what I mean? What was that? Did I get a beep? I just freaked myself out. I just saw something that said, show your true colors. And that's why I love you, so don't be afraid to let love something. And I see your true colors, and that's why I love you. Look it. When she touches the mirror, that's where all the color is. Oh. That's what I'm saying. This person left under, or like, or, or this emperor disengaged for all kinds of reasons. They thought that she was too empressy, that she didn't want. He's like, I'm going to see the higher font. She's like, I was going to see the higher font. And they were like, you don't even, and then there's something about they are able to see your true colors, and then the sun, and there comes out, and they're like, fetch my fucking horse. <laughs> um, I want some fairies on this conversation. Knight of Swords. <clears throat> Knight of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. That's three knights. The Empress. Okay. One thing I want to say about it is that this is a reciprocated conversation. Okay. But it does fucking look like there's somebody else involved. But they look really young. And then you have this Empress. And they're just, it's like, I feel like you talk to them and the main thing is that you no longer Ace of Cups. You're, you're not wrapped up in a vine of confusion. I also want to talk about, it's like they give you a choice of something. You get to choose. And she's sitting there with the Empress, and she's like, well, of course I get to choose. <clears throat> Let me get this little tiny old school Norman deck out. Tell me more about this conversation. Reconciliation. And also, maybe some there might be some kind of agreement, but this is, it fucking says reconciliation. That's what it's for. They've been talking to their friends. They've been talking a lot. And they think that the best success, they're, they've got to, got to try a little tenderness. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know why I said that. They might have a gift for you. I just saw a card that said a lot of money, but that could be they just have a, something nice for you.
I also won two, and there says a lot of money too. I, for whoever this is, okay, I want to talk about they are taking a risk talking to you. I don't know why. Now let's talk about this star slash ace of cups because she's fucking about it. There's also some kind of the empress. And judgment. Temperance. Oh my God. Six of Wands. I want to be like you endured all this like pain and waiting or whatever. And it's like. I just blew my own mind. Yeah, yeah, Pixie, that's right. Reconciliation can just be a conversation. It's 24-hour tarot. So for this time frame, that would be reconciling, but that doesn't mean anything. But this, at the same time, there's a lot of Ten of Pentacles here, and I keep seeing something about a lot of money. And Four of Wands, and Queen of Cups, and Six of Pentacles, and it's like, I think I want to be like, What's the King of Pentacles and the Grasshopper? The one who says, fuck it, let's do it. The Tower and the Knight of Pentacles. A gift that changes your life? Let's back this fucking train up. Because we were talking about somebody's like, give it back. Give it back. It's mine, give it back. But they thought that, but they thought poorly of you. And now they see otherwise. How did that change come about? The magician. Justice. And the nine of pentacles. Because you did it just fine without them. They probably thought you were like after them for money or something. And then you didn't need them anymore. Stand by Viking mowing service. If that's him, I will die. Whatever. What was I talking about? A lot of money. Oh, you they fucking did it yourself. Fuck it. I don't need your money. What's that? I, I like to say it's not about your presence. It's about your presence with a C. Right? And they're like, oh, so now that you don't need me, I'm available to fuck. <laughs> Gross. Ace of Cups. Rude. Wow. Did you see that? Bloop. You may have been up at night over this and you may have already moved on and followed your own passions. Maybe that was the goal was for you to fucking move on and do it on your own. And then when you could do it on your own, it would be a different relationship. Queen of Swords, you, but you might be like, Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. You might be like, what? <laughs> really, 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 really happy? Okay. All right. Um, where's the Elder Fairies? Because they're not going to steer us wrong. All right. So, scroll back. Some fucking buddy decided some shit based on chattering to other people or whoever or however listening to the wrong whatever they are emperor status so they probably have kids you are in some way or other 
bound to them via karma, past life, whatever. And now they're looking at you like fucking well done. Okay. That looks like um, the King of Rohan after he gets unbewitched, right? You know what I'm talking about on the Lord of the Rings? He was bewitched. And then this the with the your spiritual fucking team rolls in and unbewitches them. And they're like, oh snap. I like this bitch. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so I don't know, but you feel a little guarded anyway, but whatever. So now you get this, like, Ace of Cups. What the fuck? I don't understand. Is it surprising or what? Because, I mean, I want to be like two-thirds. It's spiritual will. Okay, I just saw the Piper. But that's a lot of this. Wow. This person might have really, 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 really blue eyes. But they don't have to. Six of Cups. From your way past. Or past life. And they're like, I'm sorry I've been a fucking grumpy old tool. Well... That's a lot of happiness. I'm drained. <laughs> That's a lot of happiness for a day. What the fuck is going on? Yikes. Super duper 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 happy. Oh my God. Ah, even your dog is happy. What? Why? I want to be like, e and that's kind of how I felt too. When the first Ace of Cups came out, I was like, oh my god. That's a lot of happy for one day. I don't know what to do. Why are we so happy? I'm confused because a sincere friend and because of reconciliation my jaws on the ground Sometimes tarot be wicked magical. You might, there might be. Who's the consultant? I heard Edward Jones. Two of Pentacles. She's like, oh shit, it's like all this stuff, all this harvest gets put into her hand and she's like, kind of like how I am with all this abundance that you ravens gave me. I'm like, oh my God, there's so much here. Ace of Pentacles. Judgment and justice. Moving on up to the east side. Two of Cups. King of Cups. Because they're the one that reaches out to bring 
to they somehow or other like relieve all of your burdens they want to tidy up loose ends they want to it's but it's a little can't find me love okay does that make any sense like i mean what i keep hearing go on take the money and run who's royalty whatever go on take the money and run but it's it's, but I, that's why she was all queen of swords because it's like they roll in with gifts and money or whatever to like fix the fact that they, I heard abandoned. Oops. I heard the word fortune. This is silly. It's certainly not going to be like that for everybody or probably anybody. I heard at least one person. Yeah. The fuck. All right. It's a lot of happy for one day. Yeah, basically, baby, girl. Yes, yes, we are ready to receive and we're grateful. Very good, Cape Cod, that's right. We openly and with gratitude receive the abundance that is meant for me. The Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune. I also just heard, be careful what you fucking wish for. Because it's coming. You're, you, you get it. Oh, fuck Ace of Wands. Cool. I can't really think with that lawnmower going on. Let's just talk about what it is for some people on a on a more broad scale because does it does feel like can't buy me love or can buy me love. I just went to a dark place just now. I'm going to use a different deck. Let me use the Modern Witch. What is this um, big deal, I guess? Four of Wands. Strength. Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. talk about um somebody might have a kid who is like waiting for their life to change right like a teenager or something and this is that moment like you finally get to bring them oh the ace of cups two of cups This is a lot of happy for one day. I'm just saying, I feel like you get to. I'm 
I don't know. It feel it feels like sudden overnight. I feel here I go with being drained. It's fucking reconciliation of a lifetime. Can we get a like a zodiac for who it is? I also feel like a third person, a woman, possibly your own mother, had something to do with this. There's a lot of Leo here. Three Leo cards. Taurus. Sagi. <clears throat> Maybe Leo. I don't know. My brain is going all over the place. All right, any last messages for our crew for the day, please? Ace of Pentacles. Is this work or like a gift or? Look, you get a text when you're already spent. And she's looking like, what the fuck? I think it makes somebody sit straight up because somebody finally let their guards down in the sun. See, you like, you can't believe it. Like everything was, this is what I'm talking about. She was, this is her being like, give it back. Give my six of cups back. Wheel of fortune. It's a reconciliation friends, but I don't know if it's with a lover or with somebody else that you need to reconcile with. Um, how are we going to be leaving the next 2436, please? Page of Pentacles. Oh, my God. And those two cards are at the bottom. Page of Pentacles. I'm going to be like all ready to go on an adventure. What's the page of Pentacles? Pisces. Family. It might be from your family. That's what I'm saying. Key, stallion, whatever. I'm going to redo that. I want it to be the same. <laughs> Can I get one card, please, for how we're going to be leaving the next 2436, please? The sun. Same freaking difference. She's all, yeah. <laughs> Yay. That's a lot of happiness for one day. That's a reconciliation, my friends. Yeah, we end with the sun. My daddy's Pisces. You look like a pin cushion. I know. Same, 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 same. So that's it for the tarot story. For those of you who are out, nice to see you. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, check back later. I'll put up a link for the group, the Crow's Nest group. And um, you guys can friend me on Facebook. You'll see me out and about. Tea, I'm having coffee. 
Yep, 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 yep. My daddy's a Pisces too. <laughs> call, call, tribe. <laughs> Happy thoughts. That's a lot of love for one day. It's like you start out with like nothing, feeling all the pins in your back, and then all of a sudden everything gets fucking really, really, really good. So we'll see. Yeah, maybe, Rita. Maybe. One dirty deck card. For the... For the dirtier minded ravens. <laughs> I want to be like. Somebody was a cheater. Some girl. And they left. And that's why they're showing up. I don't know. EMS training? I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I respectfully declined. I did it for like two, three weeks and I was like, this isn't... I mean, I'm good at it, don't get me wrong, but it's not my... I want to do this. I'm here every day. This is where my energy goes to. It works for me. It makes me feel good. I'm living out loud. I'm walking the path. Right? I've got books that need published. I've got a crow's nest that needs worked on. I'm mostly fucking Sagittarius and I don't fucking like when I have to be somewhere at 8 o'clock and I can't get off till 8 o'clock the next morning. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, I can. Anybody can. But I feel like I had a, a real hard time with it. Like I was like uh, talking to my guides like why do I fucking do this? I mean I'm so far into biology degrees and everything else and that was always the plan. I'm like why am I even do? Why am I doing this then? And they're like <laughs> they go because you picked one and we picked it. <laughs> you because you picked it. Instead of following like what I should have been doing which I was doing the whole time. But also forcing myself to do the thing I picked. Right? I mean, I learned a lot of shit. So. So I respectfully declined. And they're going to have to find someone else to take on that big of a... big of a project because it wasn't just medic it was supposed to be to start an entire program to community paramedicine which essentially does house calls to people who um, otherwise would need to use an ambulance for non-emergent situations it's fucking cool right but you're talking just the research and shit to start that days and days and hours and hours every day there's no time left for this and there is a a lot of people i mean i get emails every day for people who are like if i didn't have the crow tribe i'd be in a really fucking dark place right now i'm like right how many times have i signed on like i need you people because <laughs> we're all the same tarot classes we could do that right right yeah, it has to be your calling. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We can talk about doing tarot classes. We need to do the morning routine. We need to start having a better morning routine. Maybe we'll do that on the Facebook group. We'll get up and have coffee together or tea. We should switch it to tea. Right. And then... We'll start doing yoga because we need to. So I'm a certified yoga instructor, right? So I've got muscle memory. 
but I haven't had a active practice since before my sons were born because I both those pregnancies were really terrible. Very like bed rest with both of them was bad. So I haven't really got back into it at all, right? And so we'll start from the way beginning. Everybody wants tarot classes. Well, the tarot, I mean, technically tarot, like you're supposed to have a, um, like a spread. I'm mostly, I just do intuition. I love aerial yoga. Aerial, the buddy yoga is fun. I have to have a big old dude to do aerial yoga with though. Gandalf can do the airplane. <laughs> you have a freestyler. Yeah, the best thing to do, I mean, like instead of a tarot class, which we can incorporate that, but the best thing to do is to get to know your guides and how to use all of your clear senses to communicate with them. Because then at that point, it doesn't fucking matter what you use. <laughs> you couldn't get rid of them if you tried. <laughs> All that shit is in my book. I need to finish writing my book. I know it. I know it. Anybody ever feel like they can't write unless they have a laptop? I've got that writer's block thing going on. I don't know why it's like that. It shouldn't even matter. But I feel like I can't write without a fucking laptop. I, I just need to... I also saw this thing. I don't know who posted it. Maybe it was on Instagram. Maybe Sin posted it. Maybe Sam posted it. I don't remember. Anyway, it was about starting off your, um, no way. Write it in pen first. No fucking way. It's already done. It's already like two, 300 pages long. It's like literally almost done. But then my laptop broke and I stopped working on it. I don't know why I'm like that. Oh, starting your morning off with a coffee intention. Where you like pour it in and you like meditate on it. And then you seal it in with a fucking whatever. The book's called Veil Walking. I think that's still going to be the title, Veil Walking. But it's basically everything that we do here. How to turn on your energetic body and like do all the things and start it and stop it and everything. All the things, all the questions that basically all the questions anybody's ever asked me over the last 15 years. It's the answers to that. <laughs> yeah, first rule of yoga is just to fucking show up. That's right. That's great, Kapui. Yeah, I need to finish it. That's the other thing, too. Everybody that I've ever spoken to is like, oh, my God, I need that book. I'm like, I know. And then I haven't done anything. You got your 500, Milo? Good for you, buddy. I did 200, and then I did specialized classes. Like, I did a bunch of prenatal. 
classes and then I, or like certifications and then I did um I want to talk about this moon yoga, yin yoga, whatever. Opening a school for what? I want to open up like a real Hogwarts magic school. You're right. I know. That's like me. I've got the crow's nest. I've got this. I've got that. Oh, nursing school. Sweet. He's like, not Bikram. It's okay. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Have a have a real life. They would they would eat that shit up in Ithaca. They'd be like, hell yeah, you can open a magic school. We should do that. <laughs> we have to get some kind of old Victorian mansion, though. It has to be like that. And all the headmistresses have to wear corsets. And great shoes. <laughs> Everybody's like, yes! Awesome. Great. Looks like we're fully staffed. <laughs> Yes, like the one from Casper. Oh, we could manifest it. That's a good idea. The moon magic's like, no. Moon magic, I had a uh, past life. A hard, hard, hard past life. In the late Victorian era. I, I'm like, about it. I don't know why. When did we start? I don't know. I guess, <laughs> just like, I got already booked my ticket. Shit, all right. Well, there's a little project we got to do. Damn. Should we do that before or after we commandeer a pirate ship? <clears throat> Very cool, Moon Magic. I still like it. Huh. Yeah, full moon nights, yep. Let them ladies out. <laughs> Crazy Tuesday. <laughs> oh, the pirate ship first? Yeah, because then we can go get all the loot that we need for Hogwarts. It can't be called Hogwarts. We'll have to call it something else. Humpy. Yeah, I know, right? Pixie, this we were talking about the other day. I want a little lift a Rooney. Just a little lift a Rooney. Raven Center. Very cool. We come up with the damnedest ideas. Maybe I will. The cuckoo's nest beer. Well, here's the thing, friends, that we have to remember about the ravens. It's not going to stay with us forever. I remember when I had the, I was following the medicine of the stag. I was asking, I'm like, are you going to leave me? Because I, it was cool. Like when you learn how to do neo shamanic journeys you can go you can fucking ride your spirit animal okay you can't ride a raven but you can totally ride ride a fucking giant stag okay and i was like are you gonna leave and they're like eventually and i was upset upset but the transition to raven was quite smooth but i'm getting the same way about it right like i love the raven i love the medicine i love all of that but eventually they'll leave us and we'll find a new one 
whatever the next message is, right? Right now we're supposed to be observing and becoming aware and becoming smarter and more intelligent about magical experiences, right? A pixie, same. We would make hella dragon riders. I just went off on a whole thing. You guys are silly. All right. I need to think about that. I need to really think about that. See, that's one of those things, though, like, as a Sagittarius, like, if you start it, you start it, that's great, but then you gotta, like, fucking do it every day and be somewhere. <laughs> like, I gotta fucking, they, these people wanna learn every day. <laughs> what? Right. They blow fire. What? All right, I gotta go. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.